Oh! Good morning or afternoon, wherever you are. Um, internal loom time. See what I can do to get it in. Um, I've tried to make as much space as possible. I've taken the clocks out. There they are. I've taken the clocks out from there. Just hinge the hinge the heater down. Can I get any more light on that? Bit of light. Yeah, I've dropped the heater down. I've attached the ECU to the loom now and I've made up these god-awful plinth things there. That's just wood. That's just a bit of CLS. Um, a bit of board on the parcel shelf. Just something to rest these two boxes on because they were just wobbling around everywhere. But it's also giving me something to attach the ECU to. So I've got I've got two blocks there coming through from the engine and I've got three blocks there coming through and I need to attach this internal loom to those blocks and then come across the dashboard up into the instrument cluster there and then across and through the through the bulkhead there put a light to the offside of the engine and then I've got the wires coming through the roll cage on that plug we put on in a previous episode so yeah I've got to try and get this big fat loom somehow through above the heater behind the switch panel obviously uh, in mind of the clock still needing to fit in and my clutch arm not acting like a guillotine and severing them when I press the when I press the clutch down so I've got limited space but I'm going to give it a go I'll put you on the stand put you on the stand and uh, hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing because I don't know what I'm doing so I'll help you do what a book. cluster there and if you can see that so we're about in the right area So this, so this clump here, that clump, I've got to go onto that fuse board, the multicoloured fuse board. These need to find a home. 
and then this needs to go up to the steering column so can the steering column drop down there these stay up and that drops down because I've got things like diagnostic diagnostic block brake pedal switch as well so maybe there's room for for that to drop down there just concerned that there's going to be a lot of stuff getting in the way of the pedals How much room I'm gonna have for the uh, for the fuse board there? But at least that can come up in flasher unit. OBD. Well, at least we can get the steering column back in, and then see how things are looking. But yeah. Easy. Easy. So that's up. That's through there. These are where they need to be. You can thread these over there. And through there. Towards the wiper motor. Switches. Two plugs to engine loom, three plugs to that loom, and we've got the connectors for the back loom and the driver's side engine loom, and that's the driver's door. They must have been just dead ends I cut off. And these are the horn relay and super lock relay. Something like that. Contact brake or something like that. So where's the fuse board going to go? Right, got it in, just need some time to think. Right, carrying on with this um, cabin wiring loom for the mini micro conversion. Let me get my um, flashlight so we can shed some light on it. Just been filming my um, fuel tank video. Cars up on the cars up on there. Just fitted the uh, the rubber fuel tank massager. But let's have a look at this. Where did we get to? So I still haven't fitted the clocks back in. 
yet. But I've got the uh, part of the loom ready to connect into the back of the clocks there. So yeah, we've got the steering column back in. We've got the steering wheel on. It's not fully bolted down yet, so I need to remember to tighten that up. We converted the top of the steering column by way of a, a tubular spacer welded on so we could physically fit the indicator and light and wiper stalks on it. Uh, it enabled me to fit the ignition barrel onto the column. Uh, so that all that looks all that looks rosy. Uh, we've got all the electrics coming off the um, steering column from the ignition barrel and the stalks wrapping themselves down there to underneath. I've got some of those loom connector blocks connecting underneath the dash rail and then I opted to fit the internal fuse board above the dash rail in that area leaving myself enough space to get a little bit of cabin ventilation through there um, trying not to um, interfere with the clutch the modified clutch mechanism there for the cable and also leaving enough space to get the instrument cluster back in there so it's all tight. Everything's connected together over there on the on the um, link into the engine bay looms, which are which are tucked underneath over there. And we've got our fusible link box and a couple of relay things up there for the heavy duty end of the fuses for the big load stuff. We've got a couple of switches there coming through the middle. I haven't got a clue what I'm going to do with them yet. But they're there. Um, hazards and rear uh, screen. The mini heater, Smith's heater, is hinged back up and screwed into place. So it could be worse. Probably look better with some kind of fiberglass dashboard over the top of all this to hide all this. But we're in. Steering column was a bugger to put in to get that bolt through. Initially, I was trying to fit the steering column with the bolt in there, but don't do that. Don't be daft like me. Um, there's no way you're going to push that steering column on with the bolt in because the bolt, the bolt goes literally almost through the side of the 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 central shaft have a look at one you'll see what i mean uh, you'll understand um but yeah managed to get that bolt through it was a real tight squeeze so it all looks good just a bit more fettly with it i'm glad i didn't paint the outside of this shell when I painted the underneath and the inside because I've I've butchered it all over. I've drilled that many holes. Um and when you look at that there I've got I've got to I've got to attack this again because this this fab manifold to get it on is just fouling it so I've got to trim all that out. I've to modify this panel at the bottom. I've drilled that many holes through the uh, the bulkhead on the inside there to get wiring through and looms through. Um, yeah, I've caused a, I caused a little bit of damage when I was getting the roll cage in. So I'm glad I'm doing all this kind of pre-assembly, dry build type thing on the mechanics and the electrics now. And then when, when I'm satisfied with it all, I can start finishing the engine bay the boot, uh, inside the boot, painting, and uh, get the shell, and then the doors, and the bonnet, 
and the boot and the roof painted in proper paint but it's going to need a rub down I might have to prime it again as I've got my sticky fingers all over it um, but yeah face and then I've got to sort out that alternator the little Denso alternator couple of problems with it uh, one is it doesn't seem to spin fast enough uh, to charge the battery um, I think that's to do with the fact that the new alternator is running off the smaller cog just that cog there on the end of the crank is stepped there's a um, there's a big cog there you can see and beyond it is the little cog and the alternator used to run off the big cog but now it's running off the little cog and the gearing like on your mountain bike or your racing bike means that that slows the alternator down the alternator doesn't spin as much so I've managed to find a smaller pulley to go on the alternator which should hopefully spin it a bit faster and the other problem with it is um, the connections to the alternator the micro alternator uh, has a permanent live to it so basically there's a wire coming straight off the fuse box into the alternator to to um to charge the to charge the the windings uh but uh my education has, has now told me that you need a switched live to the alternator so i've got to find a switched live for the alternator um I'm sure I must be able to find one of them off this freaking loom from somewhere. I've cut off that many wires. I must be able to find a switch live I can tap into. So yeah, switch live to the alternator instead of permanent live. And then I've got to try and speed the alternator up to kick out a charging, charging uh, voltage. Yeah, so God, I'm rabbiting on again. So that's where we are. Interesting stuff. Uh, I think I know what I'm doing, but if I don't, I can soon find out. Adios, catch you on the next one. Uh, like, subscribe and that stuff, that you YouTube stuff.